Welcome everyone. Today we will be reviewing this 2022 Chevrolet Corvette C8 Stingray. But before we dive deep, I would like to give a huge thank you to the team at Jim Ellis Chevrolet located in Chamblee, Georgia for letting me review their car. Now let's get to it. Now this is the eighth generation for the Corvette and the most unique considering this is the first mid-engine Corvette to successfully go into production and be sold to the masses. For the heart of this C8, you get a 6.2 liter nationally aspirated V8 engine producing 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The top speed is rated at 194 miles per hour and is all paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Sadly, for the drivers who enjoy a manual transmission, Chevrolet has no plans on bringing the manual transmission to the C8. And one of the reasons, um, due to low sales numbers with manuals. But not to worry, this C8 is rear wheel drive only for now, that is. I'm looking at you, ZR1 and Zora edition to come. But this 0 to 60 is clocked at three seconds, and this is just the base model. With the added Z51 package, you get a 0 to 60 with 2.8 seconds. And the C8 is just getting start it guys can't wait for that zora edition of zr1 to come out styling wise i feel like chevrolet has knocked it out the park with the corvette c8 excellent beautiful it looks so aggressive and so angry i like that look i really like the front end right here how it makes that angular obtuse shape just looks like it's ready to cut through the wind like a hot knife through butter. Well done. As we come to the side, you do get 20 inch rims right here, which I think look very nice, very lovely. Uh, you do get Michelin Pilot Sports all season uh, tires. Now, for the people who know, they know, and for the people who don't know, you don't know, make sure these tires are warmed up, especially on a cold day before you uh, do some spirited driving. But um, as we come to the side as well, very nice, clean, low slung, fighter jet type of style to the Corvette. I do like these uh, ducks right here, which is very functional. And let's check out the storage space on the outside. Now trunk space, you don't get much of it, but the good thing is, you don't only have trunk space, you also have front space, giving you a combined storage of 12.6 cubic feet. So that's with the front and the trunk combined storage wise. And still looks lovely even with the front and the trunk open. All right, so this version that we are testing today is the hardtop convertible which adds 102 pounds more than your base model coupe. Now, I'm gonna show you this transformation because it is cool and that 102 pounds is worth it in my opinion. Here we go. All right, we're in, start it up. Ooh, sounds amazing. I'm gonna push and hold down on the convertible logo. All the windows will roll down. Coming up and voila, complete. Guys, before we go any further, I need y'all to hear the way this C8 sounds. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into the vehicle, I'd like to show you the Corvette key right here. Have your panic button, your convertible button, your button for your trunk, your front, and your button for your trunk, and the start button, lock and unlock. Very simple key, has a nice, nice weight to it as well. Alright guys, as we step into the vehicle, this Corvette does come in three trim levels. You get one LT, two LT, 
and 3LT. This one that we're reviewing today is the 3LT. And with that, some of the features you do get with the 3LT is this nice lap Nepa leather all throughout the cabin, which I think looks very beautiful. You do get wireless card charging for your phone, front and rear HD camera, and this eight inch screen display. Let's turn on the car. Um, you do get 14 bowl speakers, which sounds amazing. Um, you do get a heated steering wheel as well, and it's telescopic. Um, as we move along, you do get heated uh, seats and ventilated seats. And I do like this design of the car, but um, one of the cons that I don't like is when I'm driving, unless you're really familiar with the car and you build a relationship with the car, um, as a newcomer, you, you do have to kind of look over, take your eyes off the road and look and kind of memorize, but that will come with time. You will know your buttons when you uh, build a relationship with this car. Uh, your cup holders, of course. Let's scroll over. It's a nice touchscreen display. Do get built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. You also, you also get eight-way power adjustable seats. All right, and one of the cool features I really like is this button right here. This button, when you press it, um, it lifts up so you can clear imperfections in the road such as speed bumps or potholes or steep hills. I mean, phew, I really like that feature because nothing's worse <laughs> than when you hit a certain pothole or you hit a steep hill and you're trying to be careful going exiting out from that driveway and you scrape. I don't like that sound. I'm sure y'all don't either. All right, guys, so we're going to put this bad boy in... Let's see if you can see it. We're gonna put it in the sport. We're gonna take it for a drive. But first, let me put this roof, this roof up before we get started. Let's get you guys so you can see the from the inside view of the car. It's so cool. Like a transformer. And as you can see in the rear, your rear view mirror, it turns digital. I think that's so cool. It was kind of uh, <laughs> psyching me out when I first got into this car. I was like, wait a minute, that looks like a video game kind of. But all right, guys, enough of the talking. This car is meant to be driven. Let's take it for a drive. Hey, guys, we are now in the C8. Now, I do like the feedback that I'm getting from the road. Um, I am waiting to have some clear leeway to step on it just a little bit. As of right now, I'm just cruising like Miss Daisy. So uh, when that moment presents itself, we will see what it has. All right, as we're waiting for a clear way so we can step on it a little bit, uh, EPA is rated at 15 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway, giving you a combined total of 19 miles per gallon on average. And if you get in this car, I'm pretty sure you're not worried about gas mileage at all. It's all about the performance. One of the things I noticed as driving this vehicle, I do like the heads up display so I don't have to really look down and take my eyes off the road. All right, as we're still waiting for a nice, nice spot to open it up. Um, the Corvette, the idea of the Corvette was Mr. Harry Earl. Now, Mr. Harry Earl was inspired um, after being in World War II and seeing the cars such as Jaguar and MG's uh, race, he was, he was like, we need a, a sports car. So he brought the idea to GM and they created the Corvette in 1953. But now on the other hand, even though the inventor was Mr. Harry Earl, um, Mr. Zora, Mr. Zora was the engineer for the Corvette and had a lot, a lot of involvement um, in the Corvette's life. So some people call him the father of the Corvette, while others may call Harry, Harry uh, Earl the father of the Corvette. But I see it this way, Harry Earl, Mr. Harry Earl, may be the father of the Corvette, but Mr. Zorver was a dad to the Corvette and um, had a huge involvement in making it better 
um, throughout the years. And a men engine Corvette has been in the makings for a long time. Um, Mr. Zora had wanted a mid engine Corvette and felt the Corvette needed to be mid engine to unlock more performance potential. Um, for one reason or another, it just didn't go through uh, production and putting it on the market wise. Um, but now it's here, and I'm sure if Mr. Harry, uh, Mr. Harry Earl, and Mr. Zora was alive today, they would be very pleased of what Chevrolet has done with the Corvette. All right, got a tiny opening. Let's step on it a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's hearing that roll of the engine. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, without a doubt in my mind, I'm sure if Mr. Harley, Earl, and Mr. Dora was alive today, they would be like, well done, Chevrolet. Well done. Man, I just want to, ooh, I wish I was on a racetrack so I can just open this thing up for real. I do not want to break the speed limit. Safety first, people. Fun second, safety first. One more time, just open it. Oh, yes. I will not get tired of that. Who needs music when you have this V8? So that's the review, guys. Let me know what's your favorite year Corvette or what do you like about the C8 Corvette. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, Corvette is trying to appear to a, appeal to a new um, age market. So in my opinion, they're doing a very great job. Um, I really do like this car, and I can't wait to do another review on a ZR1 or Z06 or the legendary urban legend uh, Zora that is to come in the future. Guys, thank you for your time, and I can't thank Jim Ellis of Chevrolet, located in Chamblee, Georgia, enough for letting me hold and review their car for the day. Guys, catch you on the next one. Godspeed, and never forget your love by Christ.